you've decided to enter the Breakthrough Junior Challenge, but have no idea what to make your video on or how to create it once you've decided on a topic. It's got to be something that can stand out against a crowd of thousands, but is also going to be fun to make and actually achievable. My name is James Dingley and I'm a two-time finalist of the challenge. In the next 120 seconds, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the secrets behind what makes the perfect entry. Ready? Let's go. Firstly, finding what topic you should make your video on. There are a number of ways of doing this. You can start off by reading scientific papers to discover what's going on in the fields of research. You could also talk to friends to find out what areas in science they're finding difficult to understand. This is a good place to start, but stopping there is a little bit silly. I can get an explanation of the inverse square law from practically anywhere, but what I can't get is how this relates to the real world. Back in 2016, my video on the Square Kilometre Array talked about a project going on in outback West Australia. This was super interesting to me because I live in Australia. I have since taken this concept of local science with a global impact to an entire YouTube series over on my channel Atomic Frontier. Make sure to check it out by following the link in the description for some ideas concerning your own entry. This challenge has people from all around the world competing in it. Make sure to make your stand out by focusing on the science of your local community. Secondly, how do you explain the science? Start off by trying to understand the topic in as much detail as you can, and then find a friend to try explain it to. If there's an area which they're finding difficult to understand, or even better, something that is really interesting, then try to focus your video on this topic. Once you have a general idea, you can then start to storyboard. If your video is about the beach, then why not visit and go for a swim? A demonstration can also go a long way. I'm still known as Watermelon Boy to a significant portion of the population. Finally, creating your production. Write a script and try becoming familiar with your lines. Next, find a friend with nothing better to do all day than hold a camera for you, or even better, invest in a tripod. You don't need to worry about having the best filming equipment. Modern cell phone cameras are more than good enough to make your production with. Editing takes a little bit of time, but again, don't worry too much about having the best stuff. Even now, I still use Microsoft PowerPoint for all of my animations. I hope what I've been able to share with you today has been useful, and you have some of your own excellent ideas for your own entry. But of all the advice I can give you, I think the most important is to have fun and enjoy the challenge. Good luck.